Did you get to the movie 20 minutes late? Missed the previews? Don't worry, it takes another four and a half minutes for the movie to start. Despite not getting much sleep because of her snoring husband Josh, Renee still looks like she could win a beauty contest. Family moves to a new house horror movie cliche. Mother and son matching pajamas. Mother listens to Baby Monitor and clearly hears an evil voice, but instead of running upstairs to see if her baby is okay, she decides that her investigation is better served downstairs. What silly practical jokers these ghosts are! Ha ha, the director of this movie has to go to detention. Twice. And look, the creepy doll from Saw is drawn on the chalkboard. Why isn't there also a drawing of Kevin Bacon killing people and avenging his son's death on this chalkboard? It's okay. No, no, don't bother. There's no reason for you to make the frightening discovery I'm about to make with no witnesses in the room. There's something wrong with this place. I'm not imagining it. What, the fact that you don't seem to have any neighbors? Pacing, pacing, pacing. Now it's time to go into the room for no reason and reach for Renee, even though the vessel I need is Dalton. I admit I'm not an expert on ghost kids, but what is the purpose of standing here in the corner then running off to the living room to play an of yourself? What an asshole. What is Darth Maul doing here? Your other children are with Lorraine, right? I mean, we didn't care about those kids anyway, so f*** them. Lost where? In a place that I call the Further. Oh, couldn't you have named it something a lot cooler? He's just left us with a physical body, an empty vessel. And there are entities that know this because they can smell it. That's why they're gathered around him. Yes, these dead things can smell Dalton's living empty vessel. That's why they waste their time turning on record players downstairs and appearing out of nowhere and generally making a nuisance of themselves. There are other entities who are malevolent and have a more insidious agenda. Hey, that's the title of the movie. To cross over from their realm, it takes time, it takes energy. Far be it for me to understand the time difference between the living world and the not-so-living world, but this kid has been in a coma for more than three months. It seems like his living body should be easily possessed now, especially by a demon as powerful as this one. If anything, wouldn't this back up Josh's idea that the paranormal investigators are probably frauds? They easily could have seen these pictures and drew something relevant based off of them, but he wants to call them back after this? Also, I find it hard to believe that Renee never once mentioned that the drawing the paranormal team drew looked exactly like the ones her child drew and had been hanging in his room for months. Oh, come on! Wait, why is this random ghost trying to French kiss Renee? I mean, I don't blame him, actually. I just thought demons needed an empty vessel to actually do anything physical. Did the rules change? Why are demons so easily removed by yelling at them? It's amazing this camera picked up footage of the demon, but somehow didn't pick up anyone else that was in the room, or all the other demons that were apparently walking around during that scene. We found out earlier that the worthless kids are being watched by Lorraine, but who's watching them now? I mean, I assume it's a babysitter, but I have serious doubts that anyone else exists in this movie other than the people we've seen so far. Wow. It's no accident that your son is a gifted traveler. The ability was handed down to him. So the ability to travel is genetic? It seems like at least one horrible demon over millions of years would have been able to enter an empty vessel and lay waste to the entire world if that was the case. At first I thought it was a camera problem. Seriously? Josh's mom knew what was wrong with Dalton and had proof the whole time and just kept it to herself for some stupid reason? But I thought these ghosts were attracted to empty vessels. Why would this hag be hanging around a kid who isn't traveling? His vessel isn't empty in these pictures. If these demons can be picked up by regular cameras, then why does this family picture with Dalton not have a demon smirking behind him? Suppressing your memory and your ability to astral project was the only way to stop her from getting into you. How did Josh suppress his memory to astral project? If he forgot he could do it, wouldn't his subconscious just figure it out all over again? I advised Lorraine to hide them, to stop taking your picture, to just let you forget. Did that advice also include keeping important information from him when his son started doing the same thing? Why doesn't Elise need the mask with the tube for this job? You can bring lanterns into the demon world? And if this lantern could be taken into the spirit world, is it astral projecting? Do lanterns have adventures? Can they pass this skill on to baby lanterns? Is Josh as a kid dead? This isn't his subconscious or anything. He completely left his body, so why is his kid self wandering around in the spirit world? God knows how long the demon world has existed, but they've decided to build a nice little house in the middle of it because demons need a home too. He's in. He's in? You mean, just now? The Further forgot to pay their electric bill. Is this the Demon World's bouncer? You can beat them, you are stronger, you are the one alive. Get away from me! Really? That's all it took to fend off the demon? A little pep talk and a Street Fighter move? Are these chairs that are stacked in the background for AA meetings or something? Nah, sometimes a picture of a horse is just a picture of a horse. Daddy, look, I'm free. 
Okay, so now this kid is chained in the further, and he's been in a coma traveling around the spirit world for three months. And if this were Inception, then the time he's spent in the world is probably like decades or centuries or some shit. This is the slowest, dumbest demon possession ever. None of this is real. Okay. None of this is real? Are you f***ing kidding me? The whole reason we even got to this point is that it's f***ing real. Also, if none of this is real, how are Josh and Dalton imagining the exact same things? How did Josh imagine these chains? And furthermore, how convenient is it for these to be imaginary chains so that Dalton can escape? Oh my god, Josh. He is looking. Well, who gives a sh**? It's not real. It's kind of hard to believe a demon who was peacefully sharpening his claws a minute ago could turn into such a monster. Jeez, where's helpful kid Josh when you need him? So this ghost's plan was to mysteriously open a drawer and just when someone is about to close it, reach out and grab that person? Are these ghosts, like, trying to join a frat or something? Steven! Lorraine, go check on Dalton. What? Go check on Dalton. What? Go check on Dalton. I know Spex is freaked out, but really? This command takes three times to register? They're crossing over into our world. I thought they already crossed over, like, several times during the movie. Remember? Apparently ghosts can be prevented from advancing as long as you close the door on them. Somehow this door became locked since Josh left it. Can't he just pretend it's open? And, you know, open it? I mean, what's preventing this demon from taking Dalton right now? He's hiding behind a bed in an unphysical world. Why doesn't the demon take him already? And what, did the demon just decide to leave? No, of course not. Demons who desperately want a living host need to make things scarier and pop out of nowhere to accomplish their goals. Not only that, but also make it easier for the victim to escape. I hear if you look at this woman one way, she's an old hag, but look at her another way and she's a young pretty girl gazing in the distance. Get the hell away from me! Well, everything seems proper here. Josh yelled at the demon to go away, which is their greatest weakness, of course, and she went away. Which is weird when we find out that she actually didn't. That's probably what a kid needs after being asleep for over three months. A blaring hot spotlight in the face. The way this kid eats spaghetti. Why? 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 They really can't hear all this yelling? It's not that big of a house. Yep, that's definitely a dead face. So Elise knew that Josh had probably been possessed by a demon and thought the best thing to do was take a picture of him knowing that that would probably anger the demon? Couldn't she have just started mumbling some psychic sh**? Maybe tried to get the demon out? And if it turns out he wasn't possessed, then who cares if she looks stupid doing it? She could have just said, oh, sorry, you know, psychic sh**. I'm right here. Obvious sequel is obvious.